Well, good morning, and here we are again. Praise God, another 5 at 10. We're so glad that you're with us. We're continuing to pray for blessings upon your life. We pray that these little 5 at 10s, these, just these little tidbits are going to help you and encourage you and maybe even give you some direction or even correct you, amen, to get us closer to the Lord as the day draws nigh, amen. We're living in a difficult hour, and we've ta been talking about how we hear and what we say. And today I want to kind of finish this off by we talked about don't get hung don't get uh, hung by your tongue. Words have power. Words are powerful. We talked a little bit about that last week. Well, this week I want to talk to you about um, the title would be at, um, excuse me words activate something. You know words are active. They activate action. Words activate action. <clears throat> words have the power to put things in motion. Let me read to you from Mark eleven twenty three. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says unto this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Now words cause action. So our words cause actions. It activates something. <clears throat> so we've got to make sure we we need to make sure that our words are activating the word of God and what that says about our lives and not other things, amen? Romans 10, 9 and 11 says this, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Notice what words activate. Words activated salvation. That's powerful, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So again, the power of words can bring salvation. The power of words can change circumstances. Oh yes, they can. So what are you saying? What are you confessing? <clears throat> what is your word saying? Listen to yourself talk sometime. Is it always negative? <clears throat> How about... Let's start talking about what the Word of God says in every situation. Man, things are difficult financially right now. I get that. But what do we need to be confessing? Do you know what? The Lord is my provider. He is Jehovah Rapha, the one who provides. He is the one who delivers. He is the one that will sustain me. Looking to Him and confessing that rather than, oh, I'm broke, I'm broke, I don't have anything. We're never going to have anything. I'm telling you, when you confess that, you are creating an atmosphere. You are causing activation. Because again, the angels and the demons, they're just sitting around waiting for words. Once they get the word, they can activate it and they'll go to work. So we need to be putting the angels to work and putting the demons out of business. Amen? Who is your words putting on unemployment and who is your words giving overtime to? Are you putting the, de the demons on unemployment? And giving the angels overtime? Or are you giving the demons overtime and putting the angels on unemployment by what we say? If the Bible says that we can use our words to move a mountain, then words do all kinds of things. They're powerful. They put things in motion. You don't believe me? Again, go ahead and start telling somebody they're stupid. Oh, you're just stupid. Every time they say, oh, that's just stupid. You know what you put in motion? You put in a motion. You put that seed, planted that seed that they're stupid. Someday that's going to come to fruit. I watch it, people do it with their kids all the time. Oh, this kid's such a brat. This kid's such a brat. This kid's such a brat. Well, guess what? You've put something in motion. You have activated something. How about saying, no, this is a godly child. Doesn't matter what it looks like, how you feel, what the manifestation is at the time. Continue to confess what God says about you, your situation, your family, and your circumstance, because it activates things. Words activate action, and we need to be very mindful of that. So what are you doing with your words? Meditate on that. Think about that. Maybe you need to change what you're saying. Amen? Hey, I pray that this helped you today. We're in a serious hour, and this is serious business, and we need to make sure that we are confessing what God is saying. Not what the world's saying, not what we think or not what we feel, but what the Word of God is saying. Amen. Listen, call you blessed. Pray that this is helping you. Continue to walk in faith over fear. We have the victory and we're going to walk in it. Amen. God bless you.